one of those times again. New year is upon us. Although it's still 30th December, but um, you know me, I like to make precautions in, in case something goes wrong. But I'll upload this video tomorrow, hopefully. If I won't be really busy. Heck, I need to edit it all out uh, right now. So, I'll try to be quick. I don't like to be off schedule or very late. I really hate when this happens with me. Uh, I hope you guys are doing all, all right. It's been quite a year, I can say. Still, nothing that impressive or anything. Like always, I'm doing it the second year in a row. Color product in my hand, Santa Claus in my head, all good stuff in my head. I'm in very good mood right now. Your help, guys. <clears throat> I must actually admit, it's my second take. The first one was really bad, in my opinion. <clears throat> so you won't see it. Anyway. Like previous time, I'm going to talk about some important stuff that happened in gaming and video industry and then I'm gonna just wish you all good stuff. So first thing first. I'm not gonna talk about uh, my personal life because I think I already told you everything I wanted to tell you during Steam chats and any other things. So I don't want to spoil it or, or even just I don't I just don't want to talk about it because there's no reason to talk about it. this year was actually in my opinion worst of my life nothing interesting happened nothing that much good happened there were some there was some good stuff but uh, not enough not enough good ones it basically was a, a big letdown for me there were a lot of letdowns this year about movies, what can I tell? Uh, we saw a good good movies like well, Hobbit Two, Desolation of Small. We saw movies like um, Iron Man Three. I think if it's a, any good movie, we saw um, the reboot of the movies like um, uh, Superman from DC Comics, uh, Man, of, Man of Steel. Sorry. Um, a very good movie, so I suppose it counts like a time well spent. <laughs> but still, not enough good stuff happened, especially in gaming industry. The whole year was a big clusterfuck in my opinion. There are about four to five good stuff, good things that happened, but most of all it was bad. Let's try to recap it, alright? Bear with me guys, this video is gonna be long, like previous one, but hopefully not one hour long. Anyway, we um, saw like, um, what? We saw big uh, letdowns uh, like um, Aliens, Colonial Marines by Gearbox, it was a big letdown for us. We saw letdowns like Star Trek The Game. No, it's not about the movie, it's just a personal game, but still it was a letdown. And uh, for me, God of War Ascension also was a letdown. It was a really different game from previous ones, and there were some problems with it. And finally, uh, there was a big letdown for me, like Batman Arkham Origins. Playing again as Cape Crusader, Batman, it was always nice in previous two games, but this third one takes the cake as being the worst of all. I'm not saying it's a really bad game, so you don't need to play it, no, you obviously need to play it, but uh, there were some stuff that I didn't like, like, uh, well, game was full of glitches. 
sometimes even game breaking glitches you had to restart the game and um, the story well it made sense but uh, when you finally come all through you finish the game you realize how pathetic it was how bad it was I'm not gonna spoil it for you if you want to, my personal opinion on the story I'll tell you personally online sometime later but still uh, even I must say that the uh, multiplayer edition was actually quite alright, I actually like the multiplayer, but still uh, Gameplay stayed the same, um, the playground and the whole city where you were going roaming around was the same, it still was winter I know it's a prequel, but still uh, the game wasn't that good enough But there was some good stuff, like uh, we were hack and slashing cyborgs and other enemies in Metal Gear Rising Revengeance back in late um, February the, the game took place uh, some years after Metal Gear Solid 4 but, it wo but it's not stealth action, it's more action hack and slash game like God of War or Devil May Cry yeah, we actually got a new Devil May Cry game in short it's called DMC obviously not, but they stated this like this and uh, in my opinion it wasn't that good, although I didn't play it at all first thing first, I didn't play it at all and um, a lot of people said that the game was bad they said like things, well Dante character was like emo guy they didn't like his new look I can, I can agree with that he looked really bad we had like four games before this one and now they give us this of course people are gonna rage about it of course they're not gonna like it but maybe gameplay and graphics were sold enough so they liked enough it. so it's a mixed opinion there was good stuff like we um, returned to a universe of Bioshock we went into the high skies of city Columbia and boy it was an amazing experience, it was a really amazing game and I liked it very much it actually won the best uh, shooter of this year and uh, also we experienced uh, one of the greatest games of all time called The Last of Us we went through this magnificent adventure with Joel and Ellie in this post apocalypse apocalyptic uh, city where there are uh, zombie like creatures and uh, other survivors who were enemies to you and it all was about um, trying to survive and trying to find a cure against this uh, infection well play the game to find out what happens next but I must say it will make you cry it will hook you up it's a lot there are a lot of feels in this game the same thing like uh, the Walking Dead, the game, happened uh, last year and actually the next, the second season of the game out now well, on this first episode obviously so play it if you haven't uh, played it yet, uh, Walking Dead we also got to experience what it's like to be um, how should I say it having spirits be with us in Beyond Two Souls it was an alright game but uh, the storyline didn't make any sense although there were some good actors like uh, Adam Page and uh, how was this guy <laughs> called? <laughs> yes, I, I forgot, I forgot William Dafoe, yeah William Dafoe was in the game and uh, yes I liked the, the actor playing the roles uh, and I liked it very much well obviously enough uh, the game from the same creators of Heavy Rain and Firing Gate yes it's a good game but the uh, story didn't make any much sense and uh, it's really tough to understand it because uh, they jump from one place to another and back and forth always it's really tough to understand and uh, the very final best game of this year was Grand Theft Auto 5, obviously from Rockstar Games. Yes, it's a great game. Yes, we all had it. We all had fun playing it, but uh, 
I just grew tired of Grand Theft Auto, so I kind of was um, really tired by the end of it, and I just didn't want to have any more stuff to do with it. Was still a good game, like any other Grand Theft Auto. And finally, there were some bad games like uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, Battlefield 4, very bad, rushed game, uh, full of glitches and stuff. There was this uh, OK game, mediocre game, uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Mediocre game. Not perfect at all. There was this OK game, Splinters of Blacklist, back in August, at the end of August. Um, it was bad because it didn't have Michael Iris and voicing Sam Fisher and the gameplay still was like conviction so it didn't make any difference at all like they were trying to make it look like Chaos Theory the third and best game in Splitter Cell series we were all disappointed by it there were also some good games like Payday 2 a good game like uh, Downloadable game, 8-bit uh, classic, uh, AVGN Adventures, or for its Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures about himself, the game about him, an official one, not fan-made, and it was really nice, it's a really nice challenging game, really tough. And uh, of course we got, uh, like, um, finally we got early access to Daisy Standalone at December. So we can say that uh, there are a lot of good games coming out next year, promising good games, so that makes 2014 a better year than this one. And finally they nailed this year with a very bad um, uh, video game awards, or in short VGX, for some reason they changed the name. It was really embarrassing, three hour long about nothing, and they were very awkward there. And finally we got... Um, YouTube changing ID content policy and just hitting us on the head like uh, we can no longer monetize stuff about gaming industry and they will just strike us with a uh, content ID all the time so I uh, don't make that much of videos on YouTube so I'm not that in problem about it but many other people who are very famous same Angry Joe or maybe AVGN and many other people they are affected by this change and uh, obviously enough they are not happy with that obviously enough it's gonna make some very big changes and may maybe some people will lose jobs on YouTube actually one guy already lost it so he went away from YouTube and will do stuff on his own personal site Classic Game Room I think it was called so a lot of bad stuff happened. It's really sad to see that we didn't accomplish that a lot this year. Like three, four good games were released this year. We also got back into Metro, in Metro Last Light. It was a really good game back in May, released this year. And uh, yeah, I liked it. Uh, same thing happened to me with uh, the first game. It was also good. This one was just better. They fixed stuff that was broken and uh, they changed some stuff that should have changed. So yes, Metro Last Light is a great game. We also experienced uh, the rebirth of Lara Croft in New Tomb Raider. It was a okay game, but just a basic third-person shooter, nothing more. So yes, we also encountered such game like Arma 3 and it was um, a big disappointment because there weren't such stuff in it. The, there were no single player at the launch, it was only pure multiplayer. And I think basically, um, if it weren't for Workshop on Steam, I think this game will be really fast forgotten. Poss possibility. I'm not saying it will, it should have been, but it's a possibility. There were a lot of there was a lack of content in this game, and there still is. They patched this game, but uh, it, it's a very bad excuse. The developers are becoming very lazy, publishers are caring for people, and they care only about money, and that's really sad. 
there is a possibility that the uh, game industry will just collapse entirely and they have to rebuild it from scratch. Well, that's talk for another topic next in next video, if I want to do it. So, you can see already that I'm not uh, really happy talking about this stuff, because they are not to talk about it at all, because that's it. There were some good games, and I don't um, say there weren't. There were some good games, like Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, there were good games like uh, Call of Juarez Gunslinger. Yes, those are good games. The Last of Us, uh, Bioshock Infinite, very good games, and they should be played. Actually, uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance will get a PC port uh, this January, about two weeks from now. So, go ahead and try it. But uh, I would actually wait till there are some decent reviews. We all know the story with PC ports, uh, not always great ones. Like Dark Souls 1 on PC, it wasn't, it wasn't good. But maybe I'm comparing different games, so maybe there will be a different stuff happening. And finally, this year, we got uh, two new next-gen consoles. So Wii U now got uh, two new adversaries. PlayStation 4, I own already, and Xbox One from Microsoft. I have PlayStation 4, and I actually must say that, yes, I like it. Although there are no, no good games right, right now for it. There are just some decent ones, but not that much. And uh, I'm not gonna talk about PlayStation 4 games or Xbox One games because these are just their first days. Like, both of them were released a month ago, back in November. So, it's only their first baby steps, so we shouldn't judge them that, that much critically. So, I think, yes, that's about it. Whole gaming industry of 2013 in a nutshell, I just told you. Not, nothing that good happened this year. Mostly bad stuff, backstabbing, and um, yeah, bad stuff. So, I'm just watching Steam. Nothing, nothing is happening right now. Anyway, I want just uh, to finish off this video with my prom, which I promised my holidays wishing to you guys because you are very important for me you're like my whole life and uh, we kind of grew closer to each other uh, i'll start with you man doors 84 i want to wish you uh, <laughs> happy holidays i want to wish you happy new year you are a very very great guy and uh, I like to play with you Saints Row 4 back in the day when it was released. It was really so much fun and I hope we'll play some more, some new games next year. I uh, I like your style, I like what you do and uh, well, you also have a job so I wish you all the best uh, at your workplace and I wish you all, all health and good stuff in next year. You're a great dude. I want to wish um, Happy New Year to my uh, friend Feral Pony from Norwegia. I want to wish him all the best. Although we didn't talk that much uh, this year, I'm sorry. Just stuff happened that sometimes we see each other online, but we don't talk maybe because we have no uh, idea what to talk about or we just uh, kind of busy with our own things. So. That's what I can do right now. I want to wish you happy holidays, happy new year, all the best stuff. I wish you health and good luck in next year. I hope all your dreams will come true and uh, yeah, mostly good stuff. Good luck with school, good luck with institute, whatever you're gonna have in next year. So I hope to see you more online and I hope we'll talk more on some topics we like to talk about. Good luck, man. I want to wish a uh, happy holidays and happy new year to my another friend from Norway. Sorry, Norway. 
my um, idol. <laughs> well, I may say it uh, really loud, but um, I call this guy um, a perfect example of Liam Neeson. <laughs> he, um, you are very good. You are a very great guy, man, and I like your style, I like what you do, and I like uh, how you used to write reviews back then, and you are a very great inspiration for me, that's why I so, uh, usually call you Liam Neeson, <laughs> because you taught me how to do it right, you taught me how to make it right, and you taught me how um, well, to write them, and you always take your time Whenever I ask you for your help, you always take your time and you always uh, try to see if there are any problems with my reviews before I upload them to Yahoo. So, thank you very much, man. I appreciate all your help and uh, yes, I wish you happy holidays and happy new year. You rock, man. I want to wish a um, happy new year to my friend from Netherlands, Herwin. I want to wish you a happy new year, man. I want to wish you good luck at your at your place. I want to wish you good luck with your job. I know it's really hard for people that working so hard and trying to earn money and other things. It's never easy. I am I have never worked in my entire life, so I have no idea. But all I can say is just I wish you good luck, man. I wish you all the best, good health, and hopefully sometime we'll see each other. Good luck, man. And I'll see you online on PlayStation or maybe later on Skype. Who knows? I want to wish a um, happy new year and happy holidays to my girlfriend um, Alice from South Africa. I want to wish you girl all the best. I want to wish you uh, good times. I want to wish you good luck with your school and other stuff. And I want to wish you all the best with gaming associated things so i hope we'll be able to play with each other some more time and i hope we'll be able to well uh, have fun together though we tried some for the last few days but we kind of couldn't do it we were busy with ourselves so happy new year uh, I want to wish Happy New Year and Happy Holidays to my friend from Canada, G. I don't know your full name, so I just call you Junk Lord One Dan. It really suits you. I know you're gonna hate me for this, but uh, I like to call you Junk Lord One Dan. Fuck you, I do what I want. <laughs> I want to wish you all the best. I know we haven't talked to each other that much this year, I know. Past, possibly we only talked this year when there were only some uh, important things that happened. Mostly it happened uh, this summer and uh, I think I just returned the favor this uh, winter, this December, I actually started to talk to you again. But just because there are some stuff that I uploaded recently. So, Happy New Year, man, and uh, I hope to see you later. In, in January. And finally my best friend, my brother, uh, I want to wish uh, Oli Happy New Year, all the best in next year and I hope you'll be alright. I know you're having some troubles and I know it's really tough for you right now, you're having some problems with health and it's like the whole world is against you. But uh, don't forget that you have me, you have other people, other asked friends that care about you and we always want to help you and we always try to cheer you up. I still try to take things off the heat from you. I'm always trying to, each month, uh, giving you some money and just to make you less stress for you so you won't worry that much. And we did get actually a good charity for you uh, this uh, end of, in the, at the end of July, yeah. We did a good charity. And I hope it worked a little bit. But still, I'll continue doing it until you really can work things out yourself. 
I know you're gonna be alright and uh, I have faith in you. You're gonna go far, kid. And uh, I just uh, wish I was there just to um, tell you that anything is gonna be alright for you. You're really important for me and uh, you're just my best friend, surprisingly enough. We know each other for three years, I think, already. If not four, I <laughs> forgot. But still, I want to wish you all the best and everything is gonna be alright, I promise you. So, uh, that's about it, I think, guys. I'm off. I have nothing much more to say. As I said, this year in movies and games were not really kind to us. Nothing that happened. And uh, personal life I don't want to discuss. I'm gonna go now. I'll, tomorrow will be very busy. I'm going to my family and then I'm gonna have a guest at my place. So I'm gonna have some fun playing games. So uh, don't expect me to be online tomorrow that much. Well, anyway, I won't be able to play with you because I'll be busy. But I'm gonna upload this thing. And uh, as my token for you guys for being there for me, I think I'll try to give you a little gift here. I know uh, it's not that much. I know I, know I can sing, alright? It's a song. And uh, I have no voice. I really have no voice to sing songs. I'm really bad at that. But I still thought that maybe I can try to do it for you guys, just for fun. There was actually a, another idea for me to finish off just uh, by trying to stream video. But uh, knowing that you'll be all busy with yourselves, I think um, it's not worth it. So yeah. If you're watching short video or long video, you're gonna either have surprise at the end or you're not gonna have one. So take your choice, take your poison, which which you prefer one. By the way, it's a Bruni song. Fan made. And I became Bruni this year. And I don't regret it. It's really fun stuff. People are making very good quality stuff all over the internet. So that's it. Happy New Year, guys. I hope to see you next year. And it's gonna be all fine, all fun together. Right now, I'm off. Will be busy. And yeah, I have nothing more to say. I'll see you later, guys. A hundred thousand stories have filled my head, filled my head As I look for the answers in what I've read, what I've read Secretly waiting for my life to change, life to change And with this transformation, something strange now my world is bigger than I know I am losing all control I never thought I'd make it Now I know oh, 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 oh. This was spin faster than you know oh, 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 oh. And I'd give anything to show What I'm trying for Just what I'm fighting for Oh, 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 this will spin faster than you know Every single heartbeat is something new, something new And now that I'm a mortal, what will I do? Somehow my wings are a symbol of a bigger change But still a thousand questions fill my veins 
Cause this world is bigger than I know I am losing all control I never thought I'd make it Now I know Whoa, oh, 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 oh. This world's been faster than you know Whoa, oh, oh, oh. And I'd give anything to show What I'm trying for Just what I'm fighting for Oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. This world's been faster than you know in a hundred years will I still be the same? Will I leave the ones who know my name? Can I let go of my eternal burning flame? Without shame, without pain, all the same, who's to blame? And in a thousand years will I be all alone? Will this be the place that I call home? And will I still go down or will I start to roam? Far from home, time has shown what I know, turn to stone Cause this world is bigger than I know I'm losing all control I'm I never thought I'd make it Now I know Whoa, oh, oh, oh This world feels faster than you know Whoa, oh, oh, oh And I'd give anything to show What I'm trying for Just what I'm dying for Oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh. This world feels faster than you know Whoa, oh, 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 oh. This world feels faster than you know no, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, this world's been faster than you know, whoa, oh, whoa.